All right, third story for the day. Zuckerberg claims 10 million of users of Threads sign up within hours of launch. So Threads is a rival to Twitter. Now, obviously, it's made by uh, Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, which should ring alarm bells for the best of people. Um, but yeah, the number is likely to go quickly as more Instagram users and social media fans open accounts on Threads. Guys, don't use Threads. Like, Mark Zuckerberg is, like, world-renowned for, like, censoring people on Facebook. And all these people are thinking that they're going to go and join Threads and and go through it and be, yeah, it's... We're already getting reports that he's actually censoring people already. Um, but yeah, 30 million sign-ups this morning. Feels like the beginning of something special. But we've got a lot of work to build out the app. Zuckerberg wrote on 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, it's actually funny because um, his first tweet over a decade, Zuckerberg posted a Spider-Man pointing at a Spider-Man meme in apparent reference to similarity of the two platforms. That's not what this means. You don't understand memes. That's not what the meme means. Uh, so people are obviously throwing around the phrase Twitter killer. I doubt it. Um, in days leading up to the Threads release, some people on social media referred to it as the Twitter killer. Okay. Twitter has also seen a spike in hate speech since Mark Musk brought the platform last year. Interesting argument. Can you prove it? Show me in a case. And I don't mean like, show me like the EDA or EDL or whatever going through claiming that I actually want to see a graph of data of like hate speech. Uh, Threads was introduced in a clear spin-off to Instagram which offers built-in audiences for more than 2 million billion users. That's why it's getting so many sign-ups. Now, obviously at the end of the day, uh, Zuckerberg's Twitter rival Thread reaches 10 million users in 7 hours. Obviously, the media is doing their best to push this, giving it a whole bunch of fluff pieces. But obviously, Twitter has also threatened a lawsuit over the new launch. So, it's, uh, Twitter is threatening Meta with a lawsuit after the uh, blockbuster launch of Meta's new Twitter rival, Threads. And perhaps the clearest sign that Twitter view the apps as competitive threats. Uh, it's not why he's throwing. He's not suing. It's not why he's suing them. But anyway, in this week, the attorney representing Twitter sent Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg a letter that accused the company of trade secret theft through the hiring of former Twitter employees. The letter was first reported by a Smumoff, a person familiar with the matter, confirmed the letter's authenticity to CNN. Um, now, obviously, at the end of the day, it depends on, obviously, these people and if they've got a, like, a do not compete clause. Um, because, obviously, if they do, then, and there's, like, a time frame they have to, like, not be competing against Twitter, they could be in a bit of trouble. But, I, obviously, at the end of the day, I want to sort of see the court cases, see what's going on with this. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's, uh... It's seemingly like that, uh, it's seemingly, uh, look, I, I really, as much as I like Musk and Twitter, I really, really wouldn't think that they have much of a case here. Um, I, I, like I said, I want to see the court case first. Um, but unless he's got some, like Mark Zuckerberg's employed some Facebook users or, or Twitter X users or uh, Twitter X staff, and they're sort of stolen code, maybe he can make that argument. Um... But at the end of the day, yeah, it's seemingly like it's not a real big thing. Um, but obviously, we'll have to see what happens. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, it's going to be a short video today. Um, I am dog tired, and I do want to go to bed. Um, but guys, let us know your thoughts are in that comment section below. 
Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Um, tomorrow's video is probably going to be back on YouTube because this whole time I've had drop frames. So, yeah, it doesn't look like uh, live streaming from Rumble is a good idea for me. We'll have to look into it. Guys, apart from that, have a great night. Enjoy yourself, and we'll see you in the verse. What? No, that's Star Citizen. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. See, I'm tired. I told you I'm tired. Have a good night, everybody.